Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, here we will be learning the Bar Carlson criteria for sustained oscillations. How we will be getting the sustained oscillations, how your voltage gain ratio, what will be your phase value for sustained oscillations will be getting and that is been decided by Barkhausen. So that's why we are calling it as Barkhausen criteria of sustained oscillations. Here sustained meaning is at time t tending to infinity we are getting the nature of the signal waveform is same as that of earlier will not change and the peak to peak value will also be same. So there will not be any neither divergence not convergence. So it will be having the same peak to peak value and the same nature. So here let's try to find out what will be that particular factors which are affecting the sustained oscillations and on the basis of that we'll decide the Barkhausen criteria. <music> Guys, we have got the C of S divided by R of S that is nothing but the transfer function or else otherwise we can say that it is nothing but the gain with feedback. So we have got as A divided by 1 minus AB where A is nothing but gain of forward block and b is nothing but gain of feedback block as far as definition of oscillator is considered so we'll say by definition of oscillator r of s should be equal to zero so there should not be any input signal so we'll say no input signal that is rs is equal to 0 and as we all know that cs upon rs is equal to 1 a upon 1 minus ab so i will be getting this 1 minus ab is equal to 0 now we will move ahead to have the mathematical expression for a and b we will say that ab is equal to 1 now as we all know that all the gain all the feedback gain are nothing but the function of the frequency either frequency or time if it is of the function of frequency we'll uh, take this with the s parameter so i can say that this is with a of s and b of s is equal to one whenever frequency comes into picture we will say that this particular product is divided into two part one is called as magnitude part and one is called as phase part or this is also called as angle part also called as direction part so magnitude as far as magnitude is considered we just have to take the mod of a of s and b of s and that should be equal to the right hand side that is one now here i can say that as as bs is equal to 1 so its hidden positive sign which is at the pitches placed along with the a so i can say the phase is represented by the positive sign so positive sign indicates that there is either 0 degrees or multiplied with 360 degrees right so i can say that the phase is angle of a of s and b of s is equal to either it is 0 degrees or it is 360 degrees or multiple values of 2 pi that is nothing but 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi and so on so this is in degrees in radian i can say 0 comma 2 pi comma 4 pi and so on so even multiples of the pi okay this are two basis two criteria and this is called as barkhausen criteria so as far as the exam is considered so you have to formulate 
in this particular way and below that you have to write in a sentence what exactly Barkhausen criteria is. So I will write in a sentence. First criteria is for magnitude. So we will give the heading as magnitude criteria. Magnitude criteria is saying that the product of feedback gain and forward block gain is equal to 1. That means the product, the open loop gain is equal to 1. AB is also called as open loop gain. So we will say that it's nothing but open loop gain should be unity. Then second criteria is saying that angle criteria I am specifying and that is nothing but angle or phase difference between input rather there is no input and output input side and output side is 360 degree or 0 degree. This is how the Barkhausen criteria is sliced into two part one is magnitude criteria and one is angle criteria. The practical aspect of this particular Barkhausen criteria with the classification of oscillators we will learn in the next video. So stay tuned for that. We will learn more and more EDC with oscillators with Ikeda videos and thank you so much for watching this particular video. Subscribe this channel of Ikeda videos. Thank you so much.